few years ago I was looking out the window I'm looking out right now if it wasn't for a couple of souls a couple of very special people I wouldn't be here experienced so many traumatic things that a person a child shouldn't and I really really didn't want to be here anymore and I felt like nobody cared and nobody understood and I sat in my window and I was going to jump out and wrote a letter like I said and I thought I'm going to have one ciggy I'm going to have a cigarette I was smoking my cigarette at the time and I got a notification on my phone <laughs> and it was mum's blog and it was just a random vlog, it wasn't even a cancer vlog, it was Elijah and Mel had went to Walmart I think and then they had went somewhere to eat. Are you okay? Yes. Yeah, he's okay. What are you playing? Sonic. Huh? Sonic. Sonic. Oh, okay. You like your Stardust shirt? It's a pretty nifty shirt. So yeah, I felt really bad. I was like, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? Oh my God, the box just fell on top of Elijah. But Drax Shadow can handle it. He's a tough, tough kid. And holy smokes, look at this. One penny off it stopped at. My car was empty. Ronnie was dressed up. He had this silly hat and glasses and a beard on and a funny t-shirt and doing a character. Do you have stinky ears? Do they smell like a dog's butt in the Amazon forest? Oh, do you have to wear air purifying earmuffs? And I just thought, wow, look at that family facing the worst thing ever and they're, they're, they're singing and they're staying joyful and hopeful. I was like, God, I need that. God, I need that in my life. And the people still to this day see my faith and my hope and us continuing on through our trials and tribulations. For one story, there was a video of Eliza and I singing in the car right after chemotherapy. We were just jamming out in the car, and I'm videoing it, and we're just having a lot of fun, and we're singing, and very happy. Well, one lady who was ready to commit suicide happened to run across our videos. She was ready to jump. And she looks at this video of this little boy who is fighting so much cancer, and he's hurting so bad, and he's in chemotherapy us singing and joyful in the car and just being happy and being hopeful and learning to trust in God. She said, I want what they have. Yeah. I want what they have. Awesome. Completely changed her. Yeah. She didn't commit suicide. It saved her life. Yeah. You the straight up crap story of the day. Really of yesterday. Debs McLeod. What the even heck? Hey, Deb, you totally just made my day yesterday with your comment, just saying. I'm not going to tell you the comment. We actually had something planned to do. Can I say this part? Can I say this part? Can I say this part? I have a collaboration we're doing with T-Lake Daily Vlogs, and it was a Mind Jessica's idea. We were collabing with this idea, and we were trying to come up with some words for this collab, and lo and behold... Deb did some wounded D got into our minds. She did. You read, your, you read our minds, and she wrote out some words. And we're just going to leave it at that. So thanks, Debs McLeod. Bill Poem. Keep Shining by Debs McLeod. May the sunrise greet.
greet you with warmth and send you hope from above. May the sunset soothe you with peace and may you sleep knowing you are loved. May the darkness leave your heart. We all follow your, we all follow you, our bright guiding star. May the light shine forever so you can find what you're looking for. Keep shining bright through your life. You don't, you do what's right and you're doing fine. I know you cry, but keep shining bright. Even warriors feel fear, fearful at night. Keep shining bright. You know what? Are you? We got a package from Miss Debs McLeod. Debs McLeod. What's up, girl? Debs McLeod. I can't arr, talk about it. Wait, wait, that's not. Sorry. That's pirate. <laughs> that's... And it says it's from Debs McLeod. It's... This one's to me. Deb. Seriously. Seriously. You're going to make Sarah Winters really mad about this. Miss Debs. Deb McLeod. That's right. It's you will see her in the comments. You will see her. She is all over our social media. All over our social media. <laughs> Friend of ours. Very in Scotland. To us. She's in Scotland. Yes. So ah, no, 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 it's a 90th anniversary coffee stainless steel travel mug. That is the stupidest gift ever. It's the best gift. It's the best gift ever. She doesn't need any more reminders about Disney. Oh, yes, I do, because I'm going to miss Disney. Get you're on my bucket list. <laughs> bucket list? You just made the list. Okay, then. I need to make coffee right now. Open, 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 open. I, I know what it is. I know what it is. I'm so. not even sure if I want to now. I know what it is. Open, 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 open. Put in the comments below if you want to see Ronnie use this gift live on Twitch. <laughs> Debs, I'm scratching you off the list. <laughs> Show the camera. Don't sit there and drool all over it. Look. Looky, look, 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 look. That's right, brother. Let me tell you what I'm saying today. <laughs> Oh. One of you guys. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to wear this for Halloween and not freeze my tahooties off. Usually Halloween's not always cold. Just don't wear it at our October event. Oh no. We are <laughs> so doing that. <laughs> we haven't announced that yet. A memories tag that comes with it. I don't know. Here, hold all that for me. Okay, so this is a big jar. And it has memories in it and a marker. Memories that can be treasured forever. So let me read what she said. It was supposed to have a card and she forgot to put the card in it. But the card is supposed to say, this jar is to store your memories, but all is not as it seems. Instead of you remembering things, I want you to create some dreams. So write down what you wish for and all will be revealed but not until your 20th wedding anniversary, which is next year, uh, in October. Till then, my lips are sealed. And so we'll have to keep this for a year <laughs> to find out. So you're supposed to write down your, your biggest dream in your life, your aspirations and your biggest dream that you wanna do in life. And you're gonna put it in this jar and she said you're supposed to hold on to it for your memories to wish for a dream. So that's what we're gonna do. This is called memory jar. Technically, it turned into a dream jar from Debs McClude. And yes, we have dreams written in there. You can kind of see some text, some writing in there. Not all the tickets are filled, but we filled a lot of them. There's some in there. Um, we put things in there like Deb told us to write in the most extreme dreams. Ronnie's got one with Hawaii or swimming with sharks. Swimming with sharks. Um, that is on my fucking list. Mine is Disney Paris or um, maybe even WrestleMania in Florida. I mean, I put a lot of dreams in here. Um, we put a lot of things. What is that? Oh, that's Paris. We put a separate Paris. thing. Paris, who would want to do that? Disney Paris. Oh my God. So we want to um, <laughs> show this because I was told to show it i was i was told to say hey um melody can you show this <laughs> i have no idea why we're talking about it but this is uh from deb she said put your best um biggest dreams that you no. want to do in here there's several things in here we will go through it later Ooh, but um, we have some people from hawaii yes i have family in hawaii 
I have family that lives in Hawaii. So I have we family in Germany. Okay. A year ago, I sent a jar for you to fill with dreams. I told you I'd reveal everything and time is coming, it seems. To write a dream is to make a wish with hope it may come true. And it just so happens I can help with that. Uh, one of your dreams will be my promise to you. You're probably wondering what I mean, but I want to keep you guessing. Only when the time is right, you will receive a blessing. What? Deb Rock McClue. So I have no idea what the dream is. I have no idea what she's talking about. I don't know what receiving. We're just told to write them down. Kaden, can you open the curtains? 